What's going on, everybody? Share and share alike. What's up, everybody? Turn what up? The what building. up? What up? What's good, everybody? I don't want to hear no excuse that you're busy. Fuck out of here. We got this fucking quarantine bullshit. What you doing bro. out here, boy? What you doing? You doing out there? You doing it out there? Live right there? We doing it live, boy? That's what we doing? Something out there. All right. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> What's going on, everybody? All right. So, share and share alike. We're about to get it popping. You got to make sure that there's a certain group that gets this... Um. Shout out to Henry. What's good, boy? Henry and I did a nice conversation that which leads to uh, the announcement that's going to happen uh, doing cutting a promo. We'll let you guys know about that in a sec. I had a nice Who conversation. Who says the press, Henry? <laughs> Henry uh, says someone sounds depressed. I'm like, oh. It's probably, um, probably Asia. Probably. I uh, got to make sure this shit is shared everywhere or trying to because uh, it seems as though that sharing. seems as though that uh, Facebook is not going to allow me to share everywhere. So they said, fuck you, guy. You don't hoard us too much. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Rocking you. Rocking you. Let me make sure I go there. It's a big it's a big topic tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Me, 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 me. Got to make sure everybody's getting love. All right. Th- there goes for that page where I can share it to. All right. So. Yep. Block there. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, all right, guys. Block there. No more for you. Oh, you too? Uh, I'm getting blocked in some places. Like, fuck what you heard, boy. All right. I shared it everywhere. Um... Henry said, I sound depressed. Um, yeah, you're right. You're right. We quarantine out here. Hey, quarantine, quarantine, quarantine podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we have 15 people watching right now. All right. No, I don't give a shit about that. Let's, um, let's just do what we do. 18 right. people. Let's do what we do. All right. So that's... Uh, you don't care about the viewers? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Fuck them. <laughs> wow. All right. Hold on. Uh... Let's get it going. Let's uh, drop the drop the um the usual nonsense. Let's get it going. Yep. Give me that fucking mic, turbuckle tabloid, cutting a promo. Well, we're back, ladies and gentlemen, in quarantine live. You know, and that's that's not the word to use. We're not quarantine. We're um, social distancing. That's exactly what we're doing. Social here. distancing. Social distancing. Yeah. You can go outside, Probably. but just don't be next to motherfuckers. That's the difference. Yeah, there's a difference between taking a walk and going hanging out at a party. So, let me let me explain just quickness for the people who don't uh, know what's going on in our lives because they don't listen to the fucking full episode. They only listen to what we fucking share during Facebook live. Download the episode. I'm going to throw a random shot to dice that everyone does that. Download stream, subscribe guys. Come on. Like, like, you know, we're not just Facebook live. Ladies and gentlemen, we do it on all podcasting outlets. Let's let's just be for real. I'm about to take Facebook away from you guys. You guys take it for granted. I'm going to punish you. You're going to get punished. So you're about to be quarantined and turn tell on Facebook. So here's two things we'll I'll, I'll update you quick. Uh, if you listen to the episode last week, uh, uh, Super Engineer AJ has been ill. Uh, he had, oh, I think he no. sprained his neck. I think he had a a, oh. a, a, a um, what you call it a a pinched nerve or something like that. He's doing a little bit better. We're giving him some medication, but the fucker now wants to be pampered. He wants to be picked up and carried everywhere everywhere he goes. Well, he listened. He he found it in. Yeah, exactly. Now he's king. King Salabim or whatever the fuck it is. He's king. He's king. Um, he's King Charles over here. He knows how to tug at the heartstrings right now. This is what he's doing. And, and now he's gonna now, now, now he's gonna shit on the floor and write with his paws and be like, clean up my <laughs> clean up this now. <laughs> I should share to this page just to be a dick, man. You know what? Fuck that. I'm sharing to this page. Fuck that. Well, fuck it. Fuck your group, nigga. <laughs> fuck it. So, fuck it. um, and the other thing is. I've been I've been holding off for the longest time, so I'm gonna share with you guys right now. Santi has cut it off. 
He's bald. He went down. He shaved it down. It's over. He went home. He, he went, went home. home. Yeah, man. It's done. So stayed home like everyone else should be doing. Listen, this was the. I think this was the probably the right time for me to say, you know what? Since we all locked in, let's try it out. Since he went home, you like it? I, I'm, I'm, I'm fucks with it. I fucks with it. Took me a minute Kratos to. Over here. <laughs> I was going for Carl Anderson. That was a, that was the look I was going for. Nah, you're the, you're the Luke Gallows look. <laughs> I was, uh, and lucky for me, I have a, a a decent size unshaped noggin, so it works. You're the Boricua Stone Cold. Uh, I, <laughs> thank you. I don't know what I don't know how to really take that, but thank you. I so, as a compliment, sir. So, um, in case you guys didn't get the fucking memo this week, uh, WWE had a, a bit of house cleaning that they that they did this week and it wasn't a small house cleaning it was humongous um spring cleaning is an understatement brother um i what i can tell phone, you lines, is- phone lines are open ladies and gentlemen if you can see it on the screen the phone lines are open the only thing is that when you do call in i will put you in and then i gotta bring olski back in because i don't know what the fuck how to work with the skype shit but um we get out here boy. We, 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 we do what we do out here boy because we're doing it like we're doing it for tv boy so oh, um yeah, there was a big so olski give him give him a basically a synopsis of what happened this past week all right so let's backtrack a little bit so the first piece of news we got dedicated to this was the XFL is officially gone. XFL has been um, is done. We talked eradicated, about eradicated. If that's the word you want to use, eradicated. It has eradicated and it is officially filed for bankruptcy. Now this is the problem. Vince McMahon said multi multiple months ago that WWE had no involvement and no investment in the XFL. They were completely different entities, and that WWE had no inclusion in this. Well, turns out after when they went bankrupt that WWE owned 22% of the company. Yikes. Um, which, once again, lying to our faces, lying to media, and basically being um, fucked with COVID-19, they had to close their doors. Okay, so that, that's, that, that's the first thing that happened here. So, as you know, bankruptcy means you lose money. Vince lost money on this project. I think next week's cutting a promo or even shit. We'll do it now. We're, we're, Vince has failed in a lot of things. Vince has failed in a lot, a lot of things. Oh, there, no, you there, can there, share. We, we, you can we, share. You can share the way he's failed in. He's failed in the XFL, the Million Dollar Challenge, um, Brawl for All, um, the ECW um, return, which um, I know records could name more, but we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute because I'm about to go off on Vince. Mm-hmm. But. So what happened was um, WWE and Vince lost quite some money due to this happening. So Vince McMahon the next day gives a conference call to WWE staff and employees saying that there will be major cuts, major budget cuts, which to, to the company. And basically we found out that he bribed Florida's Florida to be deemed an essential business. Well, th- let's just say that he didn't do it directly, but let's just say uh, 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 he did. There was there was there was a uh, a, a, a member of the family who uh, helped to influence Florida to keep it essential. Linda, yeah, um, sorry, yeah. So you know, um, maybe it would be maybe it was a little bit uh, of a little. Uh, 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 what does you call him? Um, um, uh, my back washes your back, kind of thing. Absolutely. So, which you know, everyone, and people are asking me, "Well, AEW still going?" I'm like, "Yeah, but um, they've been recorded, so they're not going live every week." Well, they've not only recorded. that, they they weren't, they couldn't record in Florida. They weren't allowed nope. to. Right. No, they can't, and because Florida has a stay at home order, so. Vince McMahon basically threw a couple of dollars their way, and they could go and they could go in Florida, right? So, after the whole thing with the XFL happened, Vince McMahon found out that um, he made a, pre- a press conference call, and he said that there will be cuts. 
Now, I'm not talking about cold cuts, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking about firings and four lows. Um, so, Red, how many people you think that he fired? How many, how many people you think um, he released during these times? Because I think releasing anyone during these times is bad enough. But give me a number how many you thought would be um, a reasonable number. Anything over 20 or anything over 50, anything over 10 would have been bad. Okay, so you want to hear the list? Mm-hmm. The people who were released and furloughed. From the company are Drake Maverick, Kurt Hawkins, Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows, Heath Slater, Aiden English, Eric Young, EC3, Leo Rush, Kurt Angle, Sarah Logan, Mike Sciotta. How to emphasize that one? Primo, Epico, Rowan, Mike Kanellis. Maria Canellis, Fit Finley, Billy Kidman, Zach Ryder, Shane Helms, Noe Jose, Rusev, Diana Perazzo, Alexander Jacek, um, Tino Sabatelli. Um, hold on, hold on. There, I have more because uh, it's, a, it's a second page to this, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Mike Rotunda, Pat Buck, Sean Davari. Scott Armstrong, Sarah Stock, Lance Storm, Ace Steel, Serena Deeb, Kendo Cashin, Andrea Listenberger, Jerry Soto. And we have more. Nick Oregelli, Tainara, Caesar, Mars Wang, Alyssa Miles, and Josiah Williams. That, he was funny because... um. MJ Jenkins as well, by ladies and gentlemen, and Dorian Mack. And he was funny. Um, are you all right? What the fuck? Are you on the ground? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, no. I'm re- repositioning myself. You heard that? Oh, Damn. Okay. What was that? Um, oh, what the fuck? Um, that, he, the, the Josiah Williams one was, hey, I didn't know that he was uh, officially signed with WWE because I he's, the, he's done producing and stuff for AEW, so um, that was weird. He does do he does do Ty Dillinger's theme song. Yeah, so that was weird. Um, and also uh, one more. I'm sorry, um, Norman Smiley. Okay, All right. So, so you said um, you said how many would be bad over ten? How about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 50. You got 50. Okay, so before I, pre- before I begin, I want to preface it the, the conversation with this. I get it. This is hard times. I understand that people are losing their jobs, be it from the lowest level of employees to um, the highest executives. And stuff. I get it. I know that the barometer of what's happening now with the pandemic and stuff it's 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 hurting i get it i i understand i also understand that we've we've spoken about it in previous episodes where wwe has way too many talents on the roster we get it oh we, they're known for they're known for hoarding their roster they that, they hoard them so no other people could get them well well that's that, that's very well known. what they did was they they secured that no other promotions were to take big name talent because they had to take it for themselves they that's what it was be it through triple h or be it through vince himself whatever i get it and we even spoke about it many times to where that there is a there is a spectrum in which needs to be reopened in the wrestling um, um, format because these days it all seems to be geared to just two fucking promotions and and especially in the United States. I get it? Fine. Right. And I'm also under the, under the assumption as well that look. When you sign with WWE, you know what you're getting into. You have to. Don't act like you're the lost fucking sh- sheep or lost puppy trying to find a new home. You know exactly what you're dealing with when it comes to WWE. They're going to throw you big numbers 
and tell you and promise you that yeah you're 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 you're, you're on the spectrum of being a, a champion you're on the spectrum of being one of those that the the, the, the wwe universe are gonna back to because they throw you five figure six figure numbers and you're like shit i'm i'm making more in a big one shot than i would if i was cranking days and weeks and years in the indies i get it which you know and, and especially if you, if you have a family you're gonna take that check yeah that and i'm not mad at you if you take the check me either so which is fine the problem which I, I was trying to discuss to certain individuals. Shout out to JD because JD and I had a conversation last night on Facebook on the, 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 the Facebook group. My problem is there's a certain tact. There's a there's a certain way of doing things, and there's no comparison when it comes to a local warehouse a local factory or your mom and pop store from the neighborhood or even let's say a fucking you know a walgreens or whatever there's a difference when it comes to that to a company because it's not a promotion anymore because wwe is not considered a a, a promotion anymore you know nope. fucking company it's a whole company like WWE. It's yep. th there's a, there's a difference when it comes to that spectrum. Phone lines are open, ladies and gentlemen. You if you want to call in, like I said, we just find a way to uh, bring in a uh, uh, Olski once I fucking drop him. But uh, there is um <laughs> yeah, it, I'm, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. What the hell is that? Right. Are we still on that? Oh, okay. Um, it's it's there's a difference when it comes to a company who is going to be let me explain to you quickly there's there's if you don't know in business terminology there's term uh, it's called being in the black and being in the red this is probably the first time that you've ever heard in any kind of a uh, kind of form of, of of terminologies and such where being in the black is a good thing because usually you hear black friday or uh are you gonna call right now hold on one second i'll put you back in hold on uh, turnbuckle tabloid who's this hey what's up jay okay moco what's up boy hey what's up bro Mook. Mook. what's going what's on up, guys what up Mook? Oh, man yes hey what's up okay Doing, Marco, Marco, Marco I'm, I'm happy I found that video of you on the Gordon Ramsay show, son. That show was awesome. Dude. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was awesome uh, doing that thing with, with Gordon Ramsay. We did, we get, uh, we didn't get a lot of shots, but hey, it was cool. It was cool as hell, man. Awesome, man. I saw, I saw them passing around the guacamole, boy. I was like, what? I need some of that. Hey. So, Marco, <laughs> Marco, before I continue, I just want to hey. go into this. This is you know, this is the first time where people are actually understand when a company is in the black, that means that they're profiting. They're going to do well. In WWE standard, not only did they have a security bank where in in any case where the company was going to lose money by the millions, they had a bank in which they were secure to be able to pay off where they need to pay off what employees is that it's come to find out as well that wwe will be looking to make a billion dollars at the end of this year because of not having to deal with live shows and deal with having to sell the product so marco you've been watching wwe for a while What's your thoughts about yeah. these big firings that occurred this past week? Look, you know what, man? The, I was just hearing you guys saying about all the talent they have, and that's a good uh, argument right there that this is not a promotion. It's a company. It's a, it's a wow. <laughs> these guys have a lot of things, uh, a merchandise thing, a uh, channel, a, 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 a network, and all that. 
So it's, it's more than that. And uh, Garf has uh, uh, told something to Hugo Samanovic, that the guy, Hugo Samanovic, was saying that Vince was a, was, wasn't being like fair and all that. And you know what? <laughs> I understand Vince. He, he needs to take care of his company and guys you're, you're not using, but you have to let him go. You have to let him go because, first of all, there's the the security of them not getting any 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 coronavirus thing and all that. So he has to take care of his company and the people who are not wrestlers, but they work in the, but they work in the company that they're not in the entertainment business, but they they work in the company that they have lower uh, salaries than those guys. Listen, I get it. Wrestlers that aren't being utilized, let's get rid of them. I understand that. I get it. My long, my my long winded uh, reasoning for why I'm upset will happen later on. But my thought is this: there's a a and uh, 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 there's a time and place to do certain things, and yeah, you got to take in consideration of not only of the the climate in which we're in now but you also got to take in consideration to where you're hiring independent contractors these are individuals who don't have job securities the guys that were furloughed yeah. they have securities because they they still have medical insurances they still have the health benefits they have that and listen if it were a I can't even say like an airlines because the airlines were secure, but they still letting people go. We're talking about a company yeah. unlike any other that regardless of if you're able to put on shows on the 300 day basis, you're still going to make money. You're still making money. You're making money from your TV deals. You're making money from the Saudi yeah. money. You're still on it. Oski, They're what's your guaranteed th profit? Right, exactly. So why and, release they, these and, people and also, now? And also, and also, they and also they had five hundred million dollars in reserves. So why release them now? You know what the thing is where, that where you I know think... no one can find work. Look, imagine here in Mexico, man. They're paying less money, less money. Some small promotions here in here in the city right now. We're in phase three right here in the city right now, and people are being a lot of people are being ignorant. Literally, man, they're not wearing any mask and all that. They think this this is a big lie, and all the wrestlers, wrestlers or local wrestlers here. They, they live, they live with the money they get, they get from from wrestling, man. They you don't got, have another job. You some, guys some just don't have another. Uh, and you guys just lost. Um, you you guys were the first casualties because Black Demon passed away from this thing. Yeah. So yeah, and it, and so, can you imagine? Like a couple of weeks ago, we had a conversation about this, and you were like, "Yeah, we only had like maybe one or two cases, you know, a couple of cases, and we're good." And now, you know, weeks later, you're like, "This is what's happening." But yeah. I get that stance to where you guys have to, you know, let guys go or do this or promotions are in jeopardy. I get it. But we're talking about a company that's going to be in the billions. You're not you're actually making more money off of this pandemic than anything else. That I that, that it, it's it's astonishing. And Marco, well, you have to understand not, something. Marco, you got to understand something real quick. Uh, I'll give you a fun fact here, which I'll talk about later on, but in more detail. But I just want to point out here: the amount of money they saved from all these releasings, get this, was four million dollars. That's it. That's four it. million dollars. You know how I'm much? Uh, do you know? Do you know how much? Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what that money gives them? You know how much Goldberg gets paid to to perform at Saudi Arabia? Four yeah, million dollars. Four million dollars. Yeah, I know. Guys. So uh, you're me that they're gonna get rid of thirty. They're gonna get rid of over thirty people just to save four million dollars when they that they pay that for 
a four-minute match with Goldberg in Saudi Arabia. People who now can't find a job and have a 90-day no-compete clause. Um, granted, I know they have money towards them, but we'll talk about that later. But it's still a time where it's WWE is the last company that should be getting rid of people in in regards to being scared of losing money. And guys, if you guys are calling well, in, right, if you guys are yeah. calling in right now, just give me a second. When once I get rid of, uh, you know, not, I'm sorry to say, get rid of once when, when, once Yikes. we lose once conversation, <laughs> I'll, I'll bring in the next one because, like I said, the Skype thing is different. But Marco, um, last before I let you go, first of all. You're still doing great things out there. Thank you for 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 still pining through and doing everything that you're doing out there with the um with, with the trying times that we have. But I do have to ask you, how is it that you guys are 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 making it through and still uh working out how to still survive out there in, in New Mexico during during this pandemic? Well, uh, we're doing People who are doing their stuff, like taking care of themselves. I work in a hospital, man. Oh, you I too? I work in a hospital. Yeah, you too, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I work in a hospital. I'm in like, the physical education for all the employees, like labor, gymnastics, and all that. No, that. We're not doing anything right now, but people are really scared right now. My my fellow workers, my co-workers there who are nurses and, and doctors, are, maybe it's going to be in hospital to best connect them. Uh, uh, the coronavirus. I'm gonna be. I'm not. I'm not a doctor and not a pervert, but we're doing okay, man. Right now, uh, my parents are, are well, 80 years old, both of them. So, imagine, and they are diabetic. So. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of things. Huh? But hey, you have to do what you have to do. In the end of the day, we have to keep fighting on, man, and doing the responsible things. Well, nice. thank well, thank you, Marco. Thank you, Marco. Thank you so much, Marco. For thank you for Marco for your work and everything. Man. Yeah, thank you for all that. And Amen. give us a mook from Mexico. Mook, Latino heat, Austin, Latino heat over there. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Golden Ramsay, mook. Thanks mook. again, sir. And we and thanks for the, and thanks for the Love support. And later. So, uh, yeah, we got more people calling in. Hold on. Turbo Tabloid, who's this? Uh, yes, this is Ken from Texas. Hey, what's going on? Matt, you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay, Ken, hold on. I got I to gotta add my boy again. Um, All right. So what's your thought about the, the, the this whole um, – the, the Black Wednesday, what we, what, what we call it? With the with the, the with the firings and stuff. Do what now? I said, what's your thoughts about what occurred with with the with the firings with WWE? Uh, I I understand the uh, the firings with everything that's been going on. You gotta gotta make some uh gotta make some sacrifices for the for the greater good. Hello. Yep. Wait, hold on. Did I lose him? Oh, I think I lost him. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's all right. Listen, uh, Ken, call back again. Uh, see if you can call back again because uh, I lost you there. Uh, fuck Skype. Yeah, uh, fuck. Fuck you, Skype. It's a whole lot of shit. Going so, on. Red, uh, before, um, until we wait for this call, the call to come back, right. um, what are your thoughts Ooh. on Marco's um, reaction saying that he agrees with Vince here? Um,. I think it's because people are not. Here we go. Let me see this. Turnbuckle tabloid, who's this? Oh, no. Turnbuckle tabloid, who's this? Hi, this is John Rondo from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Damn each. What's going on, boy? What's up, boy? What's going on? So tell me, tell me, tell me. What's your thoughts about this shit? Honestly, you can go about it two ways, right? I mean, me and Jay, uh, me and you usually uh, understand when it comes to business, uh, like, the, the, you know, with, when it comes to money and, and budgets and all that stuff. Um, for me, honestly, it's a little messed up because they fired a shitload of people that they've had for years, right? I mean, I understand if you have talent that's like, nah, you know, they, they're 
it is what it is, right? But you have guys like oh, uh, Billy Kidman. How long has Billy Kidman been in WWE? Oh, like 2007. Please. Right? Um, who else? Uh, Mike Chioda, who's been somebody that's been with the company for years. You know? People like that. So that doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, and, and like you said, if they're standing to make more money now than they've made before because they cut out live events and stuff, then there's some people that there was no, it was not necessary to cut. Right. Like, yeah. like from, um, listen, we've been saying it for the longest. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, WWE needs to get rid of individuals. They do. Yes, definitely. We, we've been saying it for the longest. But mm-hmm. we also got to take in consideration that, look, there's a certain climate in which you do it. You. Hello, everybody. Hey, Oski's back. Oski's back. Yo. Who is this? Ken, I'm sorry, Ken from Texas. When you get the chance, once Rondo's done, you can call back, please, because I want to hear your insight as well. Um, it's so tough to deal with the Skype shit. Any case, um, Oski oh. needs to be in studio. This shit is killing me. This is fucking killing me. I, I know, man. Fuck but this quarantine shit. Rondo has said that he said the same shit that you know they need to make cuts, but is this the climate to do it? I think that because of the way the world's going on, everybody's trying to, uh, how can I say it, uh, keep their maximum budget, if that makes any sense. They could have cut some people off, and it's, it's okay to, you know, again, because it, it'll happen regardless whether or not. But at the same time, again, like I said, there's also people that have been there for years. Like, how many years? Right? And And I don't think that they... I don't think it was necessary to cut everybody in it. And I feel like it was just one of those things where it was an excuse almost. Yeah, but you know what? God, show some fucking respect. Show some love with what's going on right now. Yeah. I mean, but, I mean, you fire someone on maternity leave. Get you're, the fuck you, out said of it, you said it on, you said it yourself. It's a company now. It's a, it's a business, not a promotion anymore. But Rondo, they're not they, losing they, money. They're no, not losing I'm, money. I'm not, listen, I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's right at all. I'm not defending them. I'm just saying that this is where these companies come from. It's like, how can we keep the maximum budget if we're if this were to happen for this long? They their maximum their budget is going to be now. a billion dollars. They're actually going to make the biggest fucking surplus in company history this year. They were wasting Again, more like, money with fucking live shows going around the country, which I said for the longest, stop going to these big venues to do live shows and keep this small like yeah. they used to do years ago and fucking fill up a fucking arenas where they make money but now uh-huh. they're gonna make more money and save money by not doing it i can get it if you're hurting yeah. you're not hurting you're not and i get it a lot of these wrestlers most of them who got fired if you saved mm-hmm. your money right you did it well like the gallows the uh, um the, the andersons these are the the, the zach riders these are guys who's been in the business for years and knew right. about how WWE worked and how they spend their money and how they did this, whatever. They knew already, or they knew how to deal with, and, and they know how it's like, I'm not to be extravagant. They're not like fucking rappers and shit, or, you know, right. they know how to, you know, take their money and, 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 and be frugal and understand what the business is. They get it, mm-hmm. but you got to take in consideration with, at the end of the day, you don't leave them out there in the wind because these are individuals that do not have the health benefits. You don't allow them to have health benefits. You don't allow them to unionize. You don't allow them to do what it is. And you cut them off the way that they did in the middle of this. Listen, if you told me this shit in July, I'd have been like, okay, I get it. I'd have been, I'd have fucked with it. I'm cool. You're but in the middle a of a pandemic. fucking pandemic. This is terrible. No, of course. And like I said, before, and it's not just not, 10 people I'm not making excuses for them. But it, it, at the same time, you know, this is how these companies think. And it, it's not right. I don't think it's right at all. I'm just trying to give you the reasoning behind and the thought process behind of why this is going on. Because this is how these companies think now. 
you know? Yeah. But it, now they're in worst case scenario for whatever reason. They're in worst case scenario, and I'll, that and that's why they do what they do. But at the same time, it doesn't make it right because half these people don't have benefits. Half these people rely on this pay. You know what I mean? I mean, some of these guys make what thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars a year. It's not well, like yeah, they're it's funny because I was having a conversation with uh with, with JD. Shout out to JD. JD was, was on on the on the Facebook group page last night, and he um. He 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 tried to share the net worth of Sarah Logan, and it was like five million. I was get the fuck out of here. That bitch ain't making five right. million. I don't think she's nowhere near five million. That's just a, a right. number that's gone out there. That's just exaggerated, just to say that they're no no no, know, no 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 it's, way. It's not, it's, it's not that he's exaggerated. It's the fact that they don't they don't factor in the fact that she's married. And her husband has all but the assets. A, but as well. not so only it's that, not just her. it's it's an inflated it's number because her. they think that just because they work for a big name company that I would I would say that she barely made yearly. She's a lower mid card talent in a woman's division. I would think that she barely made any anything in the lower six figures. Barely, barely, if she did that. I agree. I agree. Um, she probably made. But, but you know what? You see, and that's the problem with me here. It's like, regardless of, like Rondo said on Facebook, which uh, was a great post, he was like, it doesn't matter how much they make. We don't know what's in their pockets. We don't know what's going on. Yeah, in their exactly. Pockets. I said the same thing, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have to say something. Like, uh, you, you know, people can um, comment. Go ahead. Before you let me go, I was cracking up at the money in the bank thing the money in the bank gimmick is the greatest gimmick i've ever seen i i said the same shit i, I think it's it. awesome i think it's great i think it's awesome yo, yo, what, what? money in the bank but you know it's another yo, thing. When we, you know it's another this thing. shit's gonna be awesome but you know it's another thing too rondo and and oski i said hey, hey for me it's it's this it's kind of a slap in the face to do that right now because it's oh, yeah. like you just f- fired and furloughed 45 50 people and now you're about to do a money in the bank gimmick to where it's to fight to get to the top. Climb the it's corporate a ladder. Real, Vince is a real fucking douchebag. It, it's, it was an excuse. Yeah, so it's a. This as an excuse. It's a real <laughs> douchebag move. I find, if it was if it was done outside of the premise of the and this goes to show you how much of a dickhead it is he is and I, I'll continue later on about this but. Vince is really a fucking selfish bastard, and I would not be surprised that Listen. when he dies, he's not going to leave WWE to anyone. He will let WWE die with him. Listen, it's like this. You know when you, you make a shitload of food and then you make too much and you're like, fuck it, you throw it out sometimes? That's what's happening with this talent. They have so much. Joshua, I would wait. Hold on a second. Joshua, I would wish for you to call in and tell me what you mean by fucking fake outrage. Because I, I want to hear this. I want to hear that shit. Oh, no. I want to hear what you mean by. Joshua, since you've been watching, I want you to hear what's the fake outrage. So, go ahead. <laughs> no, like, like I was saying, <laughs> it, it, they hoarded so much talent, and now they're just like. They, they, it's not that they're I would do a personal quiet they keep everybody on, between you and I. I want to hear the real... fake outrage. Shit. Sorry, Rondo. Do it again. Say it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, he, just, he just fucking pissed me off. I want to hear what the fake outrage is. But, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep listening. All right. Yeah. yeah no, 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 no. Keep going to talk because I got to pee quick. You, you and Oski talk. Oh. Joshua, call, son. But Rondo, what were you Wait, saying? What? No, I was saying that they hoarded so much that they just hoarded so much talent that it's not that there was anything financial going on with it. It's that they realized why are we keeping all this talent? You know what I mean? So yeah, now, like, but it's just a wrong time, wrong people. place thing. Because, and you know what's fucked up? It's even more, is it used to get rid of people because they know they're not going anywhere anytime soon. And that's why they let people go. That's why they let people go with no clauses in their contract. Right. Am I wrong? They don't. None of them got let go with ninety day clauses. Why? Because they know they're not going anywhere. Oh no, they they got ninety day clauses. Who? Cool. Because I heard a couple of the, like the revival. No, the mid, 
Yeah, they do. They just posted on the. On, they just posted on. Uh, it was this morning that they, they all of them got ninety day clauses, but uh, I think NXT people got a little bit leeway with that. But m- most of the main roster, even um, even Ryder was like, "Yeah, we have ninety. We have ninety days." Which I mean, due to this quarantine shit, doesn't really matter. But um, my thing is just, I get, I get the the choices of talent. I'm I'm, I'm surprised with the club. I'm surprised with. Um, Leo Rush, who I think is a great talent. Uh, I'm surprised with a few of them, but at the end of the day, um, some of them like the Heath Slaters and um, Epico and Primo. I, 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 I get it. I get it. No, I, I get it. But wrong time, wrong place. Wrong time, wrong place. Uh, it, Vince, 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 Vince literally bribed and fought to be to be deemed essential and to stay open just to fire people anyway. It's like, hey guys, so. Um, I pulled some strings. We can, we can work, but you, 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 you are gone. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. We're we're open, but you won't be because you won't be. You're not working for us no more. What kind of Ebenezer Scrooge type shit is that, son? Rondo, does he need to go for Christmas past to fucking do some shit here? Rondo, I'm, Rondo, I love you, bro. I got. I, we got to take out the calls because people are ready to call him. Oh yeah, no, no. That's why I said, do your thing. All right, Bobby. Love you, and thank you for for, for being on the show. And I can't wait till this is over because we need to hang out because I need to rub your titties. Oh, we gotta play yeah. a pro wrestling card game. They're waiting for you. Yo, we just got Rondo. the pro. Yeah, yeah, yo, tell him, tell him. We just got um book it the the wrestling on board game. Oh God. <laughs> each per, each bro each bro each player gets their own fucking promotion and shit. You could oh. choose a, you could choose the type of promotion. God, I love it. So, uh, oh, Rondo, Rondo love you. And, and, and King Rondo, oh, hell, King Rondo. King Cole King was on too, so. you boys. Later. Salute, Rondo. Love you, boys. Later. Love you, too. Love you, work. Next call up is calling in. Hold on. Uh, uh, John Broker Tabloid, who's this? Yo, this is Henry. Henry, what's up, Poppy? Yo, chilling. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, Listen, uh, before you before you continue, I just want to say, listen, I'm sorry for your loss. This fucking shit sucks, man. It really does. It's yeah, yeah. bullshit, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. But, you know, uh, you know this, this is a crazy time, man. Let's talk about wrestling right now, bro. All right, Bobby. Um, I appreciate it bro, for hitting me up. Man. I appreciate it. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Um, so. It's Henry on the phone. My, my opinion. What's up, Henry? Yeah, so, what up? What's going on? So, I'm good. How are you, bro? Quick, chilling, man. A quick rundown on this. Um, um, McMahon from 2015, he was trying to hoard all these talent from Ring of Honor, from New Japan, and all that, and he kept ordering them in and NXT, whatever. And once he never in his in his um in his wildest mind, in his wildest world, whatever thought that another promotion was going to come up like AEW, whatever. So all of a sudden now he started keeping all these wrestlers, but regardless if they were coming out on TV or not, keeping them hostage on uh, on their contract. Now, the way he did this shit, the way he did this shit is very effed and, and I think that because first, you all of a sudden, you, you claim you never own the XFL, you own 20% of the company, and now you file bankruptcy. Your wife comes out of nowhere with 18 the federal government. Henry, hold on a second. <laughs> Matt, what the fuck are you doing huh? over there, bro? Nothing. Oh, it sounds like you fucking moving shit around, man. I, I'm not. I'm, a, I'm literally I'm keeping my phone. At, I'm literally keeping my phone at standstill for uh, to not make any noise. <laughs> yeah, Henry. <laughs> So you were saying the wife, the, the wife, the, the wife comes in and gives a twenty million dollar fucking surplus to Florida. Yeah, eighteen eighteen point five million, right? Mm-hmm. So then all of a sudden, you, you before we find out that she gave the eighteen point five million, he gives a statement where he said that he it should be essential because he he's like the he should be in the same stand as the media, blah blah blah, and, and now he wants to make live live events, right? Because he has to be done because of NBC's, uh, USA Network, Fox, you got to do, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you got to be, um, you only get pre-taped from the holidays, blah, blah, blah. You know, all of a sudden, his wife pops out with 18.5 minutes. Now he gets a century, right? Right. Now he files, when he files XFL uh, bankruptcy. He lays off God knows how many people from that. And then you go and 
you've been keeping all this talent for so freaking long, talking about you don't want to let them go. You're offering the OC five years to stay with you. They sign. Um, guys like Drake Maverick, you got them floating around from 205 Live to just showing up on uh, going after the 24 7 So to make it short, he shitted on them, no matter what. You don't do that. I felt so bad for Drake Maverick because he came on, uh, on on Twitter and did that video. And I'm like, yo, like, you went a couple of weeks before all this shit happened. You went to the stock market, stock market and took out 15% out of your share. You took out $84 million and you kept it for yourself, right? Now, all of a sudden, you're only saving four million dollars out of all this cut right like like, like matt yeah. yeah like matt said like matt said you that's the four million dollars you pay goldberg a drop in a, a like drop in the bucket and here's the other thing that i that, that 30 uh, 30 talent or a goldberg two minute match let's it, pick ladies and, and gentlemen and a drop in the bucket because at the end of the day we look at it like this you have top tier talent that you're not using at all yep. ronda rousey you paid all this fucking money. Cain Velasquez, you paid all this fucking money. Brock, you've now been utilizing him, but that's a eight million, eight point five million dollar talent that you use sporadically. That wasn't let's, on- not, let's not forget. Let's not forget. He gave Undertaker uh I don't know how much money, millions of dollars. Remember, he was gonna come out in that uh Starcast. Right, that's AEW, Starcast. Yeah. Double or nothing. Mm-hmm. And he gave horrendous money to a man who can't hardly walk no yeah and he, and and then you think about it as uh, you think about it like this as well you you already taking this saudi money this money that that everybody's already been of uh, offended by that you're fucking taking this shit and blood money yeah and you you you're making it seem as though that you know uh, you know uh, we, we we're trying to rejuvenate a country no, motherfucker, they threw you money just because he wanted to throw you the money to make it look good. It, yeah. it, it, it's not, it, it doesn't. They gave you the funds. Yeah. And then, you know what's funny? You, you, guys, you guys are talking about this, and then somebody, I think it was, I don't know if it was Rondo, somebody said that this is about the same time they let go of talent. But not, not at this time. Not when you got an epidemic. Yeah. Where does it work? Everything is closed. That, and I was just about to bring up, I was about to bring up the 90 day clause. Listen, as goofy as I may sound and as goofy as, as, as the president sounds, I, I agree with him that this, the business should be opening soon. I, I know it will be. I felt that I've, I've been, Oski will tell you, I've been saying this for the longest that, you know, unfortunately, that this is occurring and we have deaths and I know people are getting it and, and it's so and it's 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 a it's 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 horrible that it's happening but in the long run the way that this country runs they're trying to get money in now like it, 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 and I know that especially when it comes to like sports it's different with wrestling wrestling is a reactional kind of an event yeah, baseball, that's, that's baseball, ba- baseball, uh, basketball, uh, those kind of sports. You can play and people watch it on TV. The only thing is that you're not gonna get a big revenue. The revenue you'll get is from TV, just like wrestling was able to capitalize. No, 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 no buying tickets, no merch, no fucking um food and beverage. They'll, they'll, get, they'll get merch because you can buy merch online. They'll yeah, still get yeah, that. Definitely. But other than but, that, but, but but my thing is my beef with WWE is right is why are you trying to be the only fucking show in town? Like, because Vince yo, is a, a whore. AEW right now, if anything, AEW has more to lose right now because they tape. I mean, they tape all these that for like a month and a half, and they fucking shows have been horrendous. Okay, but and I'm a you, big AEW fan, but, but those shows but, are horrendous. Because they can't bring in the talent. But here's a, here's yeah. a, and, and, and I'll get to this after I speak to you because I'm I'm gonna wait to um see what other um callers come in. Um, yeah. At the end of the day, WWE knows that they're the fucking be all end all when it comes to wrestling. They're Disney. They're the fucking the 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 Marvel fucking of 
of all wrestling. They know they can pull the punches. Yeah. Everywhere. The problem with they're the me, big leagues. they're the big leagues. The problem with me is that the fact that other wrestlers will still buy into their bullshit when at the end of the day, they yep. shouldn't. They really shouldn't. Yep. And I, and, like I, and, I, earlier, and, I, and they promised they promised them lot. Yeah, but you know what? I I'm I I I'll, I'll close it out in a higher note when it when it does because this is gonna, I know this is a bit this is a, still a conversation. I'm waiting for more people to call in. But um, Henry, thank you yeah. for calling in. We have a big conversation yeah. on your show that's gonna happen. I'm hoping it's gonna happen. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm I'm put it. Uh, yeah, pro. You could you could pro. Yeah, day. promo it. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's gonna be my choke slam wrestling report. Me, me, and Jay had a a conversation about the greatest tag team ever in wrestling. I'm gonna put that on Sunday. It's gonna be on my audio choke slam wrestling report. You can hear it Apple, Spotify, any audio podcast that you guys like. Uh, check that out. That's that was a very interesting 45 minute conversation that we had. So thank you, sir, like for it. as always for calling in yeah. again, showing us support, and once All again, right, um, um. We're sorry for your loss, and it's unfortunate that this fucking bullshit is happening. And um, once again, um, thank, thank you for being a part of the show, and thank you for for showing us love. Always, always, brother. All right, man, I'm gonna continue. Thank Let's you, Henry. Right. Thank you. All right, later. All right. Got more Ooh. calls coming in. Coming in, uh, Oski. You already know what to do. Hold on. Turbo tabloid. Who's this? Hello. Good evening. How you doing? This is um um um, um Malik. Malik, <laughs> okay, Malik. Uh, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Richmond, Virginia. All right, Malik. What's your thoughts about the? What? what how, matter of fact, how the fuck did you find out about us? How did that come up? You oh, want to? You want to hear yourself on the show? I just, I, no, I just I'm I, I'm on Facebook and I, and I log on to the stream. Oh, you did? <laughs> okay. Oh. Richmond, Virginia. Well, from what group? What group did you did you, you follow us from? Okay, yeah, I think your thing is lagging because I, I hear my audio in the background, kind of like catching up in a few seconds. <laughs> okay, yeah, it, it, they, yeah, there's called a lag. That's what happens. There, there, there's a there's okay. A no, anyway, no, there is a uh, delay. Like I'm, I'm a long time Russell fan. Uh huh. Um, as far as the firings go, the other cuts. Here's my opinion. Vincent Man is a big, is a billionaire, right? right? So, I'm thinking he could have kept it. He he could he could have kept all the talent, send them home, and then maybe you know just pay him a couple thousand a month. You know what I mean with expenses. You know. All right, sorry. sorry about this. Um, Oski's back on. My calls is back on. What's going on, everybody? There's my uh, Malik from. Uh, you said Virginia, right? Yeah, Richmond, Virginia. Richmond, Virginia. What's up, Malik? VA boy. Um, I had, I had um. I have peoples out there in the nineties and two thousands from VA. Um, Malik. Um yeah. they, there was talk that they uh they they did they did initiate a 90 day clause, but they, that means that they were getting paid for uh those days that they can't get that they're uh, dated. And plus they're not sure whether or not once everything clears up if the if the promotions are going to be able to sign anyway so that that they're protected for but my thought is the for the fact of the matter is was this the right time to do it okay well it is what it is this man is going to do uh what he has to do because maybe you know his financial projections like he probably he's always looking at and, 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 and um, i know he has probably you know multiple account advisors et cetera et cetera so cutting all those salaries, you know, you know, I, I guess, I, I guess, in the long run, and like I said, not running live shows right now, that they're, they're losing money on that end. All their money is coming in, I think, through uh, basically off their uh, TV contracts. Because see, see, basically, to keep uh, taping shows at the, at, the, at the center, that's you know, uh, honoring their TV network contracts because they can't have those broken or not, or avoid because they'll eat, uh, lose even more money. Malik. But the thing is, Malik. Yeah billion dollars they're going to make this year it's the biggest surplus yeah. the this is the biggest uh, uh uh money that they've seen in years because they didn't run live shows they were losing money in live shows it wasn't True, like, yeah it it, it it wasn't as though that they were they they, they were harboring 
a loss. They they're they're looking at the biggest revenue they're gonna get. And with that billion dollars, uh, like I said, you could have kept those talents and and paid them a couple thousand out of those billions a month until you know, in, until further notice or until you know, that you know, I, until such time the virus can I guess maybe can find a cure or get out of control and they can start running live shows again. But I, I wouldn't, I couldn't cut all the uh, cut all those jobs because you know, a lot of them, if wrestling is is all is all they know how to do and they can't get uh you know a regular job for some kind of income, you know. That's bad in a way because see you know you know everybody should have something to fall back on. What was it? Be a star and everything, but what was the toughest loss oh, you saw out of all the uh, all the talent that was cut? What, what was the hardest one? In your opinion, how do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, the guys that what, what, what the, the, the people that you saw it's cut. Well, which which one do you believe WWE should have held on to? What was the hardest cut that you saw? I believe they should have held on to Zack Ryder because uh, he deserves a whole lot better and. EC3 to me just just got the shaft the whole time he was there. Mm. Yeah, um, Oski, what's your thought? Who, who, what, what, what talent you thought was 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 a bad cut? I agree with uh, Malik 100. percent I think they should have kept on the Zach, but I know Zach is gonna, you know, it's not the right time to make predictions of where they're going and stuff. But I know him and Cole, your best friends, he'll be taken care of. Um, the Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson was really shocking to me, uh, which AJ Styles just um, admitted that he thinks that he's the reason why they got released. But wow. that's just, you know, him feeling bad and all that shit. For me, I think it comes down. I, at first, I was upset about the producers, but then I found out they are four laid. Um, so they'll be all right. But for me, it, had to be, it has to be Zack Ryder, um, EC3, like he said, got the shaft. That was a complete utter waste. They... They had an opportunity to make that kid a star two times, and they d- just destroyed it. I don't know why they didn't believe in him. I don't know why they didn't give him the golden rod here, but EC3 was a complete and utter waste of, of even bringing back. Uh, I hope he succeeds elsewhere, but Ryder, EC3, and um, I would have to say that uh, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson for me were, the, were the, definitely the biggest surprises. It was just like uh, and Rusev. I know Rusev's one want, want, have been want, has been wanting to go uh, for a while now, but um, I guess they finally just gave him the hook. I guess they I guess they they released anyone who ha- maybe they had a question of if they were going to come back or not in their in their expired contracts. Uh, but Malik- I also want to point out Rusev donated twenty thousand dollars to their to the employees of the company that couldn't work there at that time, and he still got released. Thanks a lot. Malik, thank you for yeah, calling. Really. Malik, thank you for calling in. I mean, and, um, um, I'm I'm um. I'm happy that you, you did, and uh, I'm. I, I'm, as a matter of fact, you know what? What's your swan song since you just called in? And I hope you you'll be a follow up to to us in Turbo Tabloid. What, what's the last thing you want to say? No, I'm saying yeah, Rusev. Uh, 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 thanks for nothing. I mean, you gonna do any money? I I asked Vince, hey, can I get my twenty thousand dollars back? <laughs> I mean, good God. Exactly. I mean, you know, <laughs> that's that, wrong. Right? Oh, last thing I want to say is um, uh, I too have also um. I have a YouTube channel. I mean, it's a small channel. You know, I don't have any corporate back or anything. You know, I've just, I've, I've done it. I've been on four years. I started to do this. Uh, you know, I haven't started podcasting yet. Uh, but like I said, I'm, I'm a huge wrestling fan. I say, I, I say EC3, um, Zach Ryder, Gallows Anderson, all to, 80, all to AEW. All right, listen, Malik, we got to start from somewhere. Yeah. And um, like I said, thank you for calling in. Thank you for, for watching the stream. And um, listen, Follow us on oh, on, on, on Facebook, the liking group page, as well as on Twitter. And uh, you know, yeah, since you you, you gave us some insight, and in, and we could do some stuff. So, but but thank you for being a wrestling fan and and uh, being with us through to, uh, these, these tough times because this is this is ridiculous. This is crazy, man. Yeah. Well, and, actually, uh, I'm I'm blessed to still I'm blessed to still report to work. I, I work for a a bank right now, so I I can still go to work on these right now. I feel you. I'm an essential uh, essential man as well. I'm a hospital guy, so uh, thank you for okay. calling in and uh, being a part of the show. And uh, thank you for watching, sir. Uh y'all have a blessed night. Peace. Thanks, Peace, brother. Sir. Thank you. I I swear to God, I thought that he it was like a fucking um. I thought it was a a, a Isaac call. <laughs> Oh my God! It could have been. It really, I really thought been. it was. Um, uh, as we as we tick as we TikTok this, um, uh, cutting a promo red. I think it's time for you to go on your little rant about Vince because I know this all comes down to Vince's decisions here. We, you know, we we talked about uh, how upsetting it is to see these guys go and the wrong timing and how um it's unethical and immoral. But 
it all comes down to one man, and that's the chairman of the board. What, what, what do you have to say about Vince? Before I, I close I out, he... before I close out, and um, and I, I don't know who's gonna call in afterwards, or the case may be. But uh, before I close out, is this? At the end of the day, we've seen the pettiness, the 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 heartless business wise kind of individual Vince McMahon is. And yes. I have to say that once again, everybody's responsible for their own livelihood. And the reason yep. and, and the reason why that people do what they do is because their be all end all is to be part of WWE or WWF. When they grew up, they wanted to be a WWF champion the heavyweight champion, the intercontinental champion, that was their thought process because the dream they were the biggest company. Right. You had to. These the days... Dream. That's the big league. That's the end-all goal. But before you hear AEW it. Before and um, before other places, you know, WWE was the be-all, end-all. That's where you asked. That was the goal. And 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 I, I watched a lot of YouTube lately and every single guy said the same thing. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you tell me. If someone from WWE comes up to me and gives me a contract, I don't care how much shit I talk. I'm going. And that's what I said, that that people, you can't be too upset with them because at the end of the day, it's like that's their dream and their goal. But that is the, like I said, that's, 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 that's their swan song, boy. If they made it there, they can make it anywhere. So but I'm that doesn't mean that the company should treat you like shit. Look. Everybody's going through hardship right now. Everybody. Yeah, I'm yeah, grateful. Here, look at you, look at you. You're fucked. You you you. Yeah. You you're not working. I'm not working at all, bro. And I just found out that I just found out that summer camps are closed. So uh, I, I if I keep in this company, I don't have work till September. So until September. And here's the problem. You're safe. You're good. Yeah. Me, I'm I have to house. work, and I'm in the middle of this bullshit. You're in the front lines, brother. I'm in the middle of this shit. There's a and gift and a curse when it comes to all this shit. But you know what? We all have to do and grind the way that we grind. We have to. We have to keep moving. When it comes to wrestling, New Japan, they are relying on their live shows in their country right to do this they're did causing they, hell over there right now to keep them safe did they fire anyone nope is everybody getting paid yep okay um all the japanese shows the ddts the all japans all of them protecting the the the, the wrestlers there you know who's also protecting their talent who's that impact impact you know who else ring of honor ring of honor yeah you know, you know what Ring of Honor just did? They paid all their talent who was booked on the show that were canceled, and they're taking care of them. You know who else? All Elite. All Elite. These are companies. You know these are companies that elite. are. These are companies that are on a lower tier in a WWE level, and they still and they, don't got w, and they don't. They don't got WWE money, and they're still nope. keeping on to their talent. And they still protect. All of these, possibly, are New Japan or two companies that are probably on that same level of WWE when it comes to their their commitments and their and their contracts. Even fucking um yes. and I told you before even Impact Impact is 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 on uh, I mean um sorry um Ring of Honor is still protected by Sinclair. But yes. they didn't fire anybody and they're paying their talent. They are they're taking care of them. Jordan Grace posted on Twitter on um, that same thank you to Impact for taking MLW, care of them. MLW, even and, MLW, they're the lower yeah. tier, and they're taking care of their, their 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 wrestlers. It's sad how the number one company in the world, basically, with funds, money, etc., and you know, not a promotion of company, is the one company that, that can't do that. It's it's pretty pretty odd to me when WWE is guaranteed profit. Impact's not guaranteed profit. Ring of Honor is not guaranteed profit. Yeah. None of these companies are guaranteed profit. WWE is the but only guaranteed profit. they're still looking the out for their fucking... They're still, their... And they're still looking out for their people in WWE. 
Akira Kwan, um, yeah, Tristan, Tristan Ty, Akira Kwan, who got injured during MLW, even he yes. had said during the show, it was like, they said, look, they're going to look out for me. And the MLW, and what are they MLW, doing? They're taking care. But you know what? Here's the flip side to what these releases and all this stuff happened. And this is something that should be looked at on not only those wrestlers that were released and but also wrestlers on the come up. This will be the resurgence, the renaissance of wrestling. WWE does not have to be the be all end all. Doesn't nope. have to. And I think I think this is going to show that WWE does not need to be the big league anymore. And it's going to give hope for the impacts and Ring of Honors and, and the indie circuit for new talent and these guys who got released to have a new um, second chance, an encore, like Heath Slater said. I hope that it comes to a situation to where wrestlers on a come up will go. My goal is to be in WWE, not because of it being the 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 epitome of what it is to be a wrestler. Is like my goal is to be in WWE because I want to make that fucking money. Give me that I money. That check. I want that check. Yep. But the yep. whole thing is you got wrestlers who are released. You got a Zack Ryder. You have a Leo Rush. You have all these guys who can help to make other promotions bigger and better than they were a year <laughs> ago. And impact you and impact you got a big help right Ring now. Ring of Honor. With Leo all Rush, these guys. All these guys. Uh, Carl Anderson has already teased to go back to Japan, and I just shared to our little group page the 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 Bullet Club thing, and you didn't know that how big fucking Carl Anderson was to make Bullet Club the fucking promotion that they were that the 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 yeah. the, the faction that they were. Yeah, at that absolutely. point, he's the guy. Him, he's the guy in the back. He's the guy in the backstage. Him you know, and really, Finn, you know, all those guys. Like it's come on. They they also have, Mike 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 Canellis Mike Canellis could go to Ring of Honor and they could redo the Kingdom again and make it better with him and Matt Taven together. This with is Maria. Could, this like, could be so many different things. This could be the renaissance of wrestling coming back to the form because WWE dropped the ball on the big talent that they had there or talent itself that had to deal with their kind of fucking wrestling style. And when they come back to the indies or they come back to these promotions that they did, they could fucking make a Sarah Logan would be huge at a regular uh, at a fucking ring of honor or a fucking um, uh, impact. Deanna Perrazzo. Deanna Perrazzo. She was a great grab for WWE even, and they let her go. Are you fucking kidding out me? Of all, out of all people, they get rid of her. Sarah That's Logan's crazy. could be Sarah Logan could be really big to the in the um. For Ring of Honor, for the fucking um, for the women's division, for the now uh, Ring a uh, Woman of Honor division. Yeah, Diana Perazzo has Diana Perazzo has hope. Shit, I'm hell, fuck, Diana Perazzo will be humongous in AEW. In AEW. Yep, it's crazy, she'd be big in AEW. But um, um, fucking even Epico and Primo, if they if they fucking actually care again, oh, they don't be a going back tag to, team. They going back to Puerto Rico. Impact. They going to Puerto Rico. They ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I'm just yeah, saying, like, there's hope. For all these guys and women, um, not a lot of women were released, but um, 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 even like you, you go back to other names like Tino Sabatelli. Um, some that was a guy that though. that was a guy that people thought was going to be a, a big name in WWE, but yeah, they don't And my guy EC3, come oh. on. Oh my god, Yo, I I'm can't so wait off. for him to kill the game. I can't wait for him to kill the game. He's gonna kill it, and I I want him. I want and he's him one of the, he's one of those dudes that said that you know I'm gonna take that WWE money and chill. I, yep. I could I could bank it, and then and I'll wait until they release me, and they did. Now he's ready to go. Kill he it. Got a haircut, and he said he's reevaluating himself, and he's gonna, he's gonna fucking kill it. And I cannot wait. Um, Drake Maverick, the guy who the guy who really didn't expect anything from him, but was entertaining and really cared about this company. He lived his dream. Just And the, the funniest part for me with this whole Drake Maverick shit is they fire him and they go, yeah, but you know, you are scheduled for this tournament. So we're going to, we're going to make, we're going to ask you to finish the tournament and then you're gone, man. Fuck you. I don't tell man, suck my balls. Get I would have been like, get a replacement. Fuck out of here. But, um, 
Put in fucking Brian Kendrick. I'm off this bullshit. <laughs> but guys, who three words? Fuck you, Vince. This will be the you. This will be the wrap up of what we're doing on our live stream. Thank you guys for calling in and being a part of it. And yes, um, we, we gotta do thirty minutes smart on this because we got like, we got yeah. There's more to talk this. about with this shit. There's a lot more to talk about this. So guys, don't go anywhere. Stick around on the Facebook live. We're cutting it off. But for the podcast, you guys stop it. Shit, we got much more to store, man. Cut it out, man. Right. We have on um, what we watch wrestling as well as um uh, um wrestling rundown. It's got a lot and a lot, a lot more to talk about. So guys, I'm going to Instagram. We will return and uh thank you for being a part of it. Later. And watch your rest.